Hi again, YouTubers. Dave out in Western Pennsylvania, USA. And uh, I work with aluminum air batteries. My focus is the development of semi-permeable thin film membranes and gel polyelectrolytes. Um, here we'll show you the uh, open voltage, 1.24 volts, freshly prepared aluminum air battery. We're exploring the basic science, so I'm not worried about engineering a final product and how this would be uh, marketed. Just the fundamental bench scale chemistry. So what I have is uh, just a air, a little uh, vent, a little bit of a screen to let air flow. That's at the bottom. It's right above the wire gauze on the bench scale. And I have two strips of aluminum, and they are underneath a dialysis tubing used by biochemists and uh, biomedical people. That's your dialysis membrane, which is actually very good material in my work, I find. Lathered over that is a gel polyelectrolyte saturated aluminum chloride hexahydrate and that is in a polyethylene glycol safe non-volatile liquid it readily soluble the gel is polyvinyl alcohol cross-linked with formaldehyde and I'll be replacing that formaldehyde with glutaraldehyde which is uh, much safer relatively speaking but we have the gel electrolyte and then some medical gauze as insulation and then over that a rectangular sheet of graphite and that is in contact coated on both sides with this paste. Now I've uploaded a YouTube video just yesterday and I use a dimethyl polysiloxane grease. It makes a beautiful paste with carbon powder, activated carbon or charcoal, and manganese dioxide catalyst. And I have that coated on both sides of the rectangular plate. And uh, we're getting a open potential of 1.25 volts right now. I'll get you the short circuit in a minute, the amperage, milliamps. And I'm interested in just testing out semi-permeable membranes. But I like the gel because you see, if it hardens, it's not going to allow ion mobility. It would not be very good, and the water will evaporate. And that's why I have this open too to the uh, atmosphere. And uh, when the water evaporates, there is water in there with the polyethylene glycol and the uh, polyvinyl alcohol. I have a video on how to prepare that. And uh, you leave the gel to form no more than three hours at 88 to 90 degrees Celsius. If you let it go overnight, it's going to form a heavily cross-linked, rubbery type, very plastic material. You don't want that right now. You want this gel. And uh, to summarize, a little screen. Ah, it looks like this. Just found it in the lab and uh, convenient. Two strips of aluminum dialysis tubing over them coated with the gel electrolyte medical gauze couple of layers coated with the electrolyte rectangular sheet of graphite here's another piece so you can get an idea of the thickness just flat it's very convenient I also have strips of graphite which I can lay over that aluminum strip the same uh, area and then I've got the paste coated evenly on the bottom surface of the graphite and the top surface. We're at 1.26. Now this is freshly prepared. Let's get you a short circuit. I'll go to 200 milliamps. And uh, it's going up. That's good. 8.2, 8.1 milliamps. Of course, we can increase the area of this battery if we want to do that. 
uh, 7.5, 7.4 milliamps. Now let me go to uh, the open voltage. We drop down, but it'll rebound. It's going up. And this is simply one electrolyte that I'm using. Polyvinyl alcohol with aluminum chloride, polyethylene glycol solvent. I'll be making chitosan and carboxymethyl uh, starch, which will be a polyelectrolyte. And I would expect that's going to be even a better electrolytic gel than this one. But everything is relative. See, we're re rebounding very nicely, 1.19. So we want to get good airflow. And I'll be developing different membranes and uh, gel electrolytes. I'll even be exper experimenting more with the paste. But hopefully this will give you some ideas. We're up to 1.20 volts. So that's where I'm at. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, send me an email. And I'll upload some of the work I'm doing here in order to get feedback and to help others possibly with uh, generating some ideas. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.